This video introduces the idea of compound data. Compound data is an idea that's ubiquitous in computing, and it goes by many names. Some languages call them structures. Some languages call them objects. Some languages call them hashes. The basic idea is that you have a value that contains other values. That's why it's called compound data. The word to keep in mind for compound data is the word and which contains one value and another one. Probably the most familiar example of this is a point. A point contains an x and a y. Each is represented as a number. The example we're going to use for this video is that of a frog. A frog, for the purposes, shall we say, of a zookeeper, contains Oh, a species and a mass. Let's say a mass in grams. Here's how a compound data data definition is going to look in the How to Design Programs style. We're going to start with a comment. A frog is. And then we're going to describe how it is that we make a frog. We're going to say make frog of string and number. Oops. In order to support this data definition, we also need to provide what's called a, de a define struct. Looks like this. Define struct, struct, frog, species, mass. These two lines together make up the data definition. They describe the name of the data definition the kinds of things that go in the data definition, and the names of the fields. Let's create some examples of frogs. We're basically going to be following the template given in the first line. Make frog, tree frog, and it weighs 39 grams. Here's another example. Make frog ground, a ground frog, a ground frog shall we say, weighs 230 grams. It's larger. Let's try running this. Since the point of compound data is to introduce new kinds of values, it shouldn't surprise us to see that the result of evaluating make frog of tree and 39 is in fact make frog of tree and 39, which just goes to show that these are in fact now values.